Uh, welcome everybody. Uh, today we're going to be doing uh, Lost Marbles Trail. This will be uh, counterclockwise here at Bailey's Trail System in Athens, Ohio. Well, I'm glad you guys can join us for this little ride. It's late November. It's kind of, or, I'm sorry, early. Late October. So it's getting pretty chilly out here this evening. Just do my last section here for dropping in this afternoon. The Lost Marbles is a really fun section. Uh, it's considered a intermediate level uh, trail. And I got a little off camper rock right here. Um, and there's some reasons why. Uh, as you, as, if you watched my other video, I did the, this uh, particular trail the other direction. This is the infamous switchback that is very sharp and very steep. I don't know. Little dab never hurts, right? Down to the woods here a little bit. I've actually, again, ridden this trail a lot more in the dark than I've ridden it in the daytime. And uh, in the future, I hope to do do a few of the night rides. I, hopefully, by next year, I'll have equipment that can do that. Right now, my camera does not do very good in low light. So I'm kind of stuck with just doing some stuff in the daytime. But I'll tell you, riding at night is a blast. It's totally different. If you've never tried night riding, uh, I, I, I recommend it, but definitely go in a small group. Uh, Chuck turn right here will take you right over the edge. Take a small group, don't don't go by yourself. Uh, just because one, it's really spooky out there in the dark. It's really quiet out in the woods. Two, you have any mechanicals or a wipeout. Uh, hate to think. Um, so it's just it's just nice to have a small group there with you. Kind of support each other as you ride. Plus it's really neat to see, you know, riders ahead or behind you on the trails up on the hillsides and you can see their lights it's kind of neat but a whole different experience if you're in the dark jump at your own risk because you usually can't see where your landing is until you're already in the air it is super sketchy Actually, I have a video. I did try videoing in the dark. And I wiped out pretty good on a little tabletop jump. So, maybe someday I'll post that on a little wipeout video. But like I said, right now, it's, everything is just too dark. You just can't see what's happening. All you can see is me kind of going sideways a little bit, and then you just see flailing and you go, whoa! It wasn't a major wipeout, but one of those things that hurts your pride more than it hurts you or the bike. But again, the riding in the dark is really fun. I do recommend trying it. Having some good lights, buddy system, and it's always good too if you kind of do know the trails, uh, but uh, particularly the layout and uh, where the intersections are and where they go because, you know, everything just looks a little different at night. Harder to see and you can get disoriented at, a, at an intersection pretty weak, pretty easily. And the next thing you know, you're lost. Uh, big switch back here. Uh, let's get out. We saved it. Trails are just so wet today. It's hard to keep any kind of grip. 
and uh, just kind of have a, a uh, it's not deep mud, but it's just kind of a wet sheen on top with the leaves combined, kind of makes it a little treacherous. Had some decent rain the last couple days too, so trails are pretty damp. It's kind of chilly out today, so we don't have very many riders out today either. Both good and bad. Good, you don't have to worry about running into anybody, but bad because we do have an issue. There's probably not going to be anybody coming to help you out. Which is definitely something that's definitely true about cyclists. They are always willing to help out each other. It's really nice. I can see it's just kind of a drop off to the right side here so you really don't want to go off the edge up through this area again this is one of those areas it's like at night it doesn't seem that bad because you just can't see over see how much of a drop off it is and if you're too fixated on the tunnel vision just what's in front of you and trying hard to see what's coming up on the trail as much as possible Definitely one of the most fundamentally different things is your view of what's ahead is so small when you're in, dark, in the darkness. In the daytime you can judge farther ahead. Fun little trail lost marbles. Uh, All the trails here at Bailey's are just fantastic. They're very well kept. They may, they're, they're, somebody's out here every day to maintain these trails, make sure there's no logs and tree branches in the way and stuff. They do a great job. Okay, we got a bridge out here. I do run away. The bridge has been out for a long time. They've put in a little wet crossing here into the across the water so it'll be going to be very wet right here well, I don't have a choice here's the creek crossing I lost marbles so. Hopefully we're not out of juice. Should be, we've only been filming for about an hour. Usually you get about an hour and a half, two hours out of that battery. Let's see what we're doing here. This, so again, this is a continuation of the Lost Marbles. I have a little cut scene back there. With some rocks and a really, really heavy climb. All right, my bad, I did not have my gear ready for that. Not have my gear ready. It's totally my bad. I should have made that. Just been too high of a gear and was not ready for that. I'm the corner there. Oh, you gotta work hard not to loop out up that one. The mud right here, you not wanna wash out on this hillside.
but that's why this trail has an intermediate to advanced rating rather than beginner. It does have some serious features that will kind of catch you off guard. But like I said, I've ridden this many times in the dark, so you'd think I'd be doing a lot better in the daytime. Stuck on my front fork. It sounds like a motorbike. Turn it to another big climb. Got some nice little uh, rollers and tabletops right through here that can be a lot of fun if you're going the other direction and you want to smash them. Up top here on the hillside. Unfortunately, it's a pretty heavy decline from this side. Oh, I really lean forward to not loop out going up that. Oh, little dips here and there. Thank you guys again for joining me. Going on Lost Marbles, kind of clockwise. Between Halt Works and the Wild Turkey and the Roadside. Nicely made bridges here. They've done so well this year all the rain we've had, these bridges have held up so well. So definitely a big shout out to the trailboaters on that. There's mud here. We can turn. Not gonna go fire road out. And that's Lost Marbles over to Wild Turkey. Thank you very much for watching, guys.